Today we got for you the top 10 states that everybody's leaving and going to other places. Number 10, Arkansas. Arkansas faces challenges such as limited economic diversity, high poverty rates, and rural depopulation. While the state offers natural beauty and outdoors and recreational opportunities, its economics and social challenges may affect its ability to attract and retain residents. Arkansas is known for the natural state. And it is, I, I've been through there many times and it's a nice place. But unfortunately, the economics are not here. Number nine, South Dakota. South Dakota, rural characters, limited to job opportunities outside of agriculture and tourism. The harsh and the harsh winters may deter individuals and families from choosing to live in the state. Additionally, it is relatively small population and lack of urban amenities may be limited to its appeal to certain demographics. Now, South Dakota, you know, South Dakota's cold in the wintertime. You know, their winters, like it stated, it, the winters are harsh, and that does deter a lot of folks, you know. Number eight, Louisiana. Louisiana has faced issues such as high poverty rates, coastal erosions, and natural vulnerability to natural disasters such as hurricanes. While the state offers unique culture, attractions, and culinary delights, the challenges may affect its attractiveness for potential residents. I don't understand why Louisiana's on this list because the economics are booming down there. You have offshore oil. You know, you there's a lot of economics. You have great culture. I, I don't know. I, I have to disagree with number eight, Louisiana. But that's my opinion. And y'all may have y'all's own opinion. Number seven, Maine. Maine's rural character and harsh winters may not be appealed to everyone, particularly those seeking warmer climates and more urban environments. Economic challenges, including limitations of job opportunities outside certain industries, such as tourism and forestry, may also contribute to its population stagnation. Once again, you're looking at Maine, their winters or like half the year. And they are brutal winners. And tell me y'all's thoughts on the, these states. Did they get them correct? What is y'all's opinion on them? Leave me a comment down below. Number six, Vermont. Vermont faces challenges such as high cost of living, limited job opportunities in certain industries, while the state is known for its natural beauty and quality of life, the small population lack of urban amenities and deter some potential residents. I always liked Vermont. It was always it was just just a great little great little state. Number five, Alaska. Alaska's remote location extreme weather conditions and high cost of living can deter potential residents. While the state offers unique outdoor recreational opportunities and strong sense of community in some areas, its challenges in terms of infrastructure, healthcare, and economic diversification may limit its appeal to some individual families. I've always wanted to visit Alaska. I think it'd be a great place to live, but the cost of living is on up there. 
Number four, North Dakota. While North Dakota is experiencing a population boom during the shell boom of the early 2010s, it has since seen population growth slow down. Factors such as harsh winters, limited culture amenities and functions, and fluctuations in the energy sector may affect its appeal and potential residents. You can make money up there, but the cost of living is going to tear you up. Number three, Wyoming. Wyoming's sparse population, harsh winters, limited job prospects outside of the energy sector, relatively living costs, and some areas may contribute to the challenges of attracting long-term residents. <sighs> Have you noticed the trend here? All of them is saying harsh winters. Well, most of them are. I think Wyoming is a beautiful country. I really do. As no truck driver, I have seen most of these states. Number two, Mississippi. Mississippi struggles with high poverty rates, limited access to quality health care and education, and lack of economic diversity. I myself on Mississippi, I think it's the area that you go to. If you go out to the rural Mississippi, then yeah, you ain't going you ain't gonna get no high paying jobs, you ain't gonna get no economic boost. If you go to like major cities like Gulfport, Jackson, Meridian, then the pay goes up substantially. Number one, West Virginia. West Virginia has experienced population decline in recent years due to factors such as limited job opportunities particularly in rural areas. High poverty rates and challenges related to health care and education infrastructure. You know, West Virginia, you think of that, and the first thing that comes to my mind is coal mines. Hey, y'all have a great day, and we'll see y'all on the next video.